Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We're here in Pinner in Middlesex and as you can see behind me, this is a contemporary masterpiece. So I can't wait to get into it, but before we do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And again, let us know in the comments if there's anything else that you guys want to see. So as you can see behind me, this is an example of our Lexington uh, kitchen display. So we've got a thin frame door, which is called our thin frame shaker door, which is called our Marlebone door. And we've got a stained oak ribbed uh, veneer, which is a, a beautiful finish on the island, gives a bit of texture. But we'll get into that as we come round. So the first thing you're going to notice, as always, is the island. So we've got this beautiful Cambria dark quartz worktop. Uh, it's actually made in the US and, and brought over. It's a beautiful bit of stone. We've got some lovely f uh, flecking inside there. Uh, but the finish on the external of the cabinet is a stained oak, as I said, and it's a ribbed veneer. Um, these are openable cabinets on all four corners, curved carcasses internally, and it's a real statement piece, especially with the LED lighting underneath. Coming round to this side of the kitchen, we've got a built under 600 wine fridge, which is two temperature zones, perfectly perfect for drinks or, or wine. And then we have this double door dresser larder, which works perfectly for clients' uh, bread and, and teapots, etc. All the jars perfectly organized. And as you can see, we've got this lovely caramel colour in a thin frame shaker style again with the Marlebone door, which is notched around here for the handle. We've got these lovely antique brass knurled handles here. So coming round in terms of storage, we've got this lovely 300 mil pull out unit, which is, you know, we've got all of the sorts of spices here and oils perfectly located by the island for cooking. We then have a 600 dishwasher. Then the client's double sink units. This is a 700 wide sink from the 1810 company in stainless steel, but it's extra deep. So we've got the Kuka tap as usual. It's a Pro 3 Flex in stainless steel. As always, boiling water in an instant. And we've got this lovely high upstand which takes you up to the windowsill here. Then coming around the corner, again, we have a 45 centimeter dishwasher. It's an overflow dishwasher because the client entertains a lot. And then into the corner, we've got a lovely Le Mans unit so you can perfectly access all of the stuff into the corner here. It's a great bit of storage, that. Then we have some more drawers coming round, again with internal drawers. This is for cutlery. And above me here, we've got a shaker door, again in a slightly narrower frame, with ribbed glass. And this fluted glass here actually mirrors the ribbing of the units below. So I think it's really, really nice tying everything together, again in this caramel colour. And then internally, it's been lit with glass shelves so that it really bounces the light around a lot and you can see everything sort of a hint behind the ribbed glass because it, you can't see perfectly through it, distorts it a bit, but it's a bit of mystery behind those units. Then we have the, the, the entrance into the kitchen, uh, but behind me here, we've got the island and there is the most phenomenal view into the garden here. There's a lake in the garden, there's a tennis court. I mean, it really is stunning. As far as places to cook go, it doesn't get much better than this. Uh, but in terms of cooking, we have a borer downdraft hob here. So the extractor is uh, integrated into the hob so that there's no ceiling extractor above. So we've got four induction rings, extractor below. And because of the extractor, this top panel is fixed. So you can't actually use this. Uh, all the gubbins for the extractor are hidden in here. But underneath, we've got more drawer storage. So pots and pans, cutlery, utensils. We've got a deeper drawer below, all on push to open. Um, and then you can see here, if you come in, we've got this lovely bronze handle pull detail, which is actually mirrored on, at the plinth at low level as well. So tying together all of these colours. Then on the other side, again, we've just got more storage, guys. Cupboards, more drawers with internals, more corner storage. Uh, we've got... This lovely little nook, uh, which usually houses the client's sort of rice cooker and, and coffee machine. Um, more wall units above. This was a nice little extra bit of storage here. Not being used currently, but uh, quite practical. We had to basically have a, a filler in here to get around the corner, so we might as well make it openable and usable. Um, and then we have the fridge. The client's gone for a leap air fridge, uh, or leap air cooling appliances. We've got Siemens, two ovens, so, uh, two single ovens, one of them is a combi, so it acts as a microwave and an oven. And then on the other side, we've got the Leap Air freezer. And then finally, guys, again, we do it a bit at the moment. We've got a sort of a TV area with a unit below, just extra storage, 
but frames it quite nicely and rather than just having a TV stuck on the wall, it makes it look a bit more intentional. That is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed me touring you this kitchen. I mean, look at that view behind me. It doesn't get much better than that. As always, let us know what you want to see next. Thanks.